joining us from the Spokane area, please welcome. She was with us last year as well on the Res Room Christian Media Spotlight Night of Hope mm -hmm. Res Room Live stage when we were at Pasadena Park in Spokane last August. She is here with us again in our return to the Spokane Coeur d'Alene area. Please welcome to the stage the one and only Chris Belfills, everybody. Hey, thank you so much. Rebecca, I love your song, the, For Your Glory. That is so anointed, powerful. This song is called Seasons of Change. It takes us through the different seasons of our life. But just remember where our roots are, they grow deep. And we're in his arms. Golden brown leaves tumble and fall, leaving barren branches to withstand it all. It's so cold, so cold. Wanting to explode with the springy rebirth, feeling the breeze of a lack of self-worth. I don't know, I don't know. How do I escape from this dead callous shell? How do I pick up what has already fell? Why can't I feel strong instead of empty and frail? Cause it's seasons of change. Of change. Oh, yeah. Dormant empty branches starting to grow, shedding off the bitterness and well thought snow. It's all right. It's all right. Feeling the sun, sun up above, springing forth with life, growing in his love. I'm okay. I'm okay. Knowing that the change brings forth the dawn, praying that the change will come and not take too long, clinging to his roots of love that make me stay strong, cause it's seasons of change. the dawn, praying that the change will come and not take too long, clinging to his roots of love, make me stay strong, cause it's seasons of change, of change, of change. Change me, you've been changing me, Lord. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Amen, amen. You know, these songs I wrote many, many years ago. <laughs> and so it's just like re remembering how they went and what I was going through, it's like a time capsule. <laughs> and uh, this next song is called Brokenness. It's off from one of my newer CDs. Yeah. I went through a hard time in my life and made some stupid choices. And <coughs> this is over 20 years ago. And uh, gosh, it's hard to believe. And I came to a place of brokenness and where the Lord actually, it's like the currency of heaven, brokenness, and allowed me to see my humanity and his divinity. All I offer 
you is my brokenness, brokenness in me. All that I can give is my very life, the life you give to me. I would offer you my riches. I would offer you my righteousness. I would offer you my strength. But that is not what you desire. Oh, take my offering. I will obey. All I offer you, please multiply and use. And I am broken, Lord. I offer you brokenness. All I offer you is my very need, my very need for you. Oh, all that I can give is a heart to change, a heart for more of you. I would offer you my song, and I would offer you my sacrifice. I would offer you my dreams, but that is not what you require. Oh, take my offering, I will obey. All I offer you, please multiply and use. I am broken, Lord. I offer you brokenness. Why is what you desire hard to give? Oh, why is what you require so high to pay? Multiply, multiply, oh, take my offering, I will obey, all I offer you, please multiply and use, I am broken, Lord, I offer you brokenness. You know, there was a time in my life where I didn't think that the Lord could forgive me of what I've done. We always think that we are the worst, don't we? We do. We think we're the worst. Nobody else is as bad as I am. <laughs> That's not true. <coughs> but the Lord showed me this huge, gigant gigantic cross, and he said, you can hide behind that. And I'm like, I can hide behind it. It was bigger than this building. It was just huge. And I saw myself standing behind this, gro this cross because his grace covers everything, doesn't it? Yeah, I don't know if I um, let you know. I'm, I'm the worship pastor at Redemption Church in Medical Lake, Washington. And uh, 
you know, I've been doing music now since I was nine years old, writing my own songs, but, and leading worship for over 30 years. And uh, I always think, Lord, is it retirement yet? <laughs> and the Lord said, no, I got this, you, I need you to do this, or I need you to do that. And uh, I'm like, Lord, okay, as long as there's breath in my lungs, I want to do what you want me to do, amen? And all of that said is this. We can hide behind his cross of grace no matter what we've done and that what he did on the cross covers it all, right? And one more thing is that not only is it the wrong that we have done, but the wrong that has might be done to us. He took the stripes, right? Yeah. So it's like, Lord, your cross of grace is powerful. Thank you for your cross of grace. I never thought I would find myself where I never wanted to be. The wrong I've done, the guilt and shame, it was a prison. Can I be set free? It was a prison, and can I be set free? There is a hope, there is a cross, there is a sacrifice for my shame. You gave your life, you took my place, now I hide behind your cross. Your cross of grace. Mm -hmm. I used to fear the judging eyes of man. They knew just where I had been. I feared their words. I feared their thoughts for my failure. It was covered in my sin. Yes, my failure was covered in my sin. But there is a hope, there is a cross, there is a sacrifice for my shame. You gave your life, you took my place. Now I hide behind your cross. Your cross of grace. Listen. My self-worth is in your cross. It's where I belong. I have a home. I'm not alone. Behind your cross of grace. There is a hope, there is a cross, there is a sacrifice for my shame. You gave your life, you took my place. Now I hide behind your cross. There is a hope. There is a cross. There was a sacrifice for my shame. You gave your life. You took my place. Now I hide behind your cross. Your cross of grace. Your cross of grace. Your cross of grace. Cross of grace. Amen, amen. How many know God is good? <laughs> and all the time. Yeah.
Hey, so I want you to imagine something with me. I want you to imagine this is an electric guitar. Well, it is, in essence, but I mean, you know, rock and roll electric guitar. <laughs> and um, if I was to say a color, it's purple, because <laughs> that's my favorite color. <laughs> and um, I got, you know, big hair, kind of still do. I'm an 80s chick, so <laughs> I'm an 80s girl. And um, that's one of my CDs that I have available for sale if you'd like it. Uh, that was back in 1989, and this song is from it. It's called Hold to the Rock. And uh, this is just kind of fun doing it acoustic-wise, okay? Do I have time for one more, or am I done? Do I have time? Okay, cool. Okay. Well, this is fun. Oh 
Chris Belfills, everybody. Couple more artists to go tonight before we slide on out of here. What a night it has been from Village Bakery. Vanessa Kirsten coming up, rounding out the night. Plus, Jess Belfi, Village Bakery's own, here from Hayden. She's going to be performing a couple of cover songs coming up in just a little bit. Chris Belfills is joining us on the interview stage. She's joining us for the second year in a row here from the uh, Spokane, Coeur d'Alene area as Res Room and CMS is coming live. Uh, what's new with you over the last few months? Still doing the music thing? What's, what's new in your world? Well, I mean, being the uh, worship pastor at my church, uh, I just wrote an Easter musical drama, and we performed it for Easter, and uh, powerful, powerful. There was probably about 75 people involved, and um, it was just depicting the life of Jesus and what he did for us and, you know, miracles and all of those. We even had some pretty cool effects and stuff, and, and you know, that's, uh, I never thought I'd be doing that again. I think if you asked or told me a year ago when I was with you that that's what I'd be doing, I'd be like, no, that's, that's in my past. I did that. Last time I did it was 2016. And, uh, but the Lord had other plans. And um, when my pastor asked me to put one on, I'm like, my brain <laughs> blew up, you know. But um, it was really powerful. And so doing that type of thing and doing a lot of praise and worship and uh, um you know, I'm, I'm actually wanting to go back into our studio. We have a home recording studio, and I can't remember what I said last year, but uh, want to do some praise and a praise and worship project. How many love praise and worship? Amen. And so, you know, I've written some uh, songs about the Holy Spirit and songs about you know asking the Lord to come and just to have His presence fill this place and that type of thing. So that's what I'll be doing. <laughs> by the grace of God coming up, you know, within these next few months, and um, and I know he'll give me more. We're looking forward to that uh, worship project coming up uh, down the road. Uh, for those that are in this greater Spokane CDA area, tell us a little bit about your church and where they can uh, find you on the, uh, the Sunday mornings doing your worship pastoring thing. Yeah, so uh, we're called Redemption Church, and we are in Medical Lake, Washington, and so um, uh, it's really easy to find once you get into Medical Lake. Just do a Google search, and then um, we our service starts at 1030, so, you know, if you want to come and join us and worship with us and um, just be in the Lord's presence and, and uh, to be forever transformed, that's the place to be. Amen. Now, for those who want to continue to follow your musical journeys, uh, tell us where we can find uh, and connect up with you and uh, con can connect up and listen to some of your music and, and things like that. Yeah, so I have a few places. You can go on to chrisbelfills.com and you can see my music. And I also have written a few books and um, DVDs and those type of things. So those are all available there. And um, you can also reach me on my blog, which is chrisbelfills.wordpress.com. And I'm also on um, Facebook, which is just Chris Belfills, and also um, YouTube, and I think it's Pastor Chris Belfills there. So just type up my name, and you'll, you'll find me somewhere. Amen. And one last question here for you. We've asked this several times tonight among our uh, our artists tonight. Who are some of your musical influences that have shaped uh, your style and your sound of music over the years? Well, you know, I actually have some secular secular artists that actually have affected me as well as um, some Christian artists. And so I think um, Pat Benatar. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and um, also uh, Heart. Do you guys remember Heart? Oh, yeah, yeah. Heart. yeah. yeah. Um, let's let's go go Christian, and I'll say uh, Margaret Becker. Uh, do you guys remember Margaret Becker? Oh, Immigrant's Daughter. Some other amazing stuff. Um, and Ron, what's the one um, that? Uh, well, Bob Carlyle. Do you guys know Bob Carlyle? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bob Carlyle. Um, and also Sojourner. Yeah. You know, fire up. 
Anyway. Okay. <laughs> anyway, I almost thought about bringing my electric guitar today, and I thought, no, I don't know. I don't know. I might rock them out too much. So. <laughs> it is so good to have you here for the second year in a row uh, here out here from the Spokane Coeur d'Alene area. Many continued blessings to you and your, uh, your church and your ministry, and a much continued love to you. We look forward, of course, to seeing that worship project uh, somewhere down the line. And uh, thank you for being here and for, um, for gracing the stage with your uh, gifts and talents. Really appreciate you being here with us today. It's my pleasure. Chris Bell fills everybody. Great to have her here.